going in with 993. One one zero two.
So with 902, I'm just going to shade some a bit some of the background. I'm not going to cover up all this beautiful texture that we've created with the watercolor. But what I'm doing is creating like a transition blend with pencil with bits that have been missed with this um, 902 color.
So we're back. We're going to do the other elements now. Um, I'm going to try and bring some oranges and reds in here just to give it a bit of a balance. So you want to go in 1003. We're going to do the shells. So using your pencil putting on its side, we're just going to do a base color. going to go in with peach which well actually this is salmon pink 1001 I'm going to put this on the starfishes Now back to the shells, you want to go in with the mineral orange 1033. Back in with the 1003. We're just going to blend between those two colors. In with 118. In between that darker orange, we're just going to do a smaller line, a small jagged line, like so. Same at the top. Fading it down. And then at the base. Like so. You're going to go in with a common red, which is 912. Sorry, 926. We're just going to do a line. And now you want to go in with the 1003. We're going just to pull everything together. I am leaving gaps. I'm going to go back in with the 926 and do a more jagged motion now. Like so. And doing it again here. And then at the base, I'm 
I'm going to go in with 1011 and going up and down and pulling those pigments like so. You want to go in with Crimson Lake 925 Run this at the top. And at the bottom. And then go back in with the 1003. You want to pull that colour down. one shell. So let's move on. We'll do a variation of these colours. So they won't all look the same, they'll have some difference. So let's go in with 925 here. Go from the top, blending it down, softening it, let's feather that out. So, going in with 1033, you want to go into that, blend it down, like so. Let's go in with the 118, here is where we do the jagged line. And then feather that out beyond. And then you go in with the 1003. We're just going to blend that orange out, leaving a little gap between both these points. And then in with your 1011 and you fill in the remaining and pull it all together. I'm going to go in with a 925 and create a curved line like so. Going in with a 1099, I'm going to add some of this colour at the top. To give it a bit of contrast. This one, 1009, starting at the bottom, fading it out, 925, going over that, feathering that out again, 994, process red, One zero zero three. And let's finish with the 1011. Now let's do the shells towards the bottom. In with 
in with the 1009925 Building up those layers very softly and then in with a 994. Nine, Let's further that out. Let's go in with an orange, which is 118. Let's go in with the 1009 and do a line, sharp line, right across here. Going in with the 1003, we extend it. Feather it out. Go backwards and blend. And let's bring all these colors together. In with the 1011, 118. Nine two five one zero zero nine at the top, bring it down, fade it out. Back in with the 1003, in with 994. One zero zero three nine two six One one eight one zero zero three. We're going to go from the middle bit. Nine nine four
in with the 103. Pull it back and forth. You want to go in with a darker color now, which is the 1009. Seam lines. One zero zero three again, pull it back and forth. Same process up here with nine nine four, one zero zero nine. and the 1003 back and forth okay let me zoom out I'm going to apply the same principles to the last shell down here that darkest color which is the 1009 let's create a line nine nine four nine two five start from the bottom blend your way up feather it out start at the top feather it down Nine two six Feather those out. One zero zero three bring it between. So now I'm going to go and do the peach elements, which is the starfish. Um, you want to go in with the 1001. Let's start off with one of our smaller starfishes and let me zoom in. We'll zoom in on the top of the page. I'm just doing the base layer in with the nine two six. Back in with the 1001. I'm just going to go over that red and blend it out. My pressure is quite hard, so I'm basically burnishing those red areas and then I feather it out to that base color.
Now you want to go in with the light peach, which is 927. Again, 926. I'm going to make this starfish darker, so I'm going to put a bit more of this red in there. Let's feather it out right to the center. Like so, you want to go back in with that salmon pink 1001, go over that red and burnish it, feather it to the center. And then in with the 927 and burnish. Nine two six. Feathering it to the center. One zero zero one. Burnishing all that, leaving the center bit in with the 927. And it really, these different applications, um, it really determined how much pigment was on that area and it really determines the level of color in there. So you can see some of them are a bit more red, some of them are less, but these colors are all being used repeatedly, um, but it allows you to develop contrast and it's not the same thing over and over again. So let's do the starfish towards the bottom. So there's two here, same process, in with the 1001, this one I'm going to colour a little bit different, 926, 926 you're going to add more of this pigment to the left, like so. and the leg and feather that out. I'm going to go back in with that 1001, burnish those colours and feather that out again. And then finish off with the 927.
in with the 926. Let's make this a bit more red. Feather that out, like so. Bring in your 1001. Burnish. Feather. Lift that pressure up. As you reach the right side of the starfish, lift it way up. And then you finish with that 927 again. Now these darker elements, these little holes in the starfish, we're just going to go right in with 926. Starfish here. This one, let's add in a different colour. Let's add in the 994. Just slightly. I just want to see what it does. And it will just break things up as well. So I've lightly put in that 994 in with that 926 going over that. You want to feather that out. In with the 1001. Let's burnish that. Now it's changed the color slightly, giving it more of a pink tone rather than a salmon tone. But here the salmon will come right through. Feather that out. And then you want to go in with that 927 again. Now I've placed in washi tape in certain areas because I want to slice bits out. And the reason why I want to do that is just because. So if you guys have watched my um, tutorials on washi tape, it's very easy. Um,
going to do the shell here. You're just going to blend the edges like so and then fill in with 1102. We're going to go in with 992 Small circular motions like so and then blend this little spiral and in the middle. We're going to go in with 905. In with the 902 In with nine one three. We're just going to put a hard line on the outer edge, and then we're going to vanish with nine eight nine at the center, like so. You're going to go in with 920. Like so. We're going to color the other spiral in the same color. You're going to go in with the 1102. Just miss some spots here. We want to go with white now, which is 938. Start off from the center and then work your way out. There we go. Same as the arches, start from the center and work your way out. There needs to be some more reds in this area, so we're going to go in with 1078. I'm going to go a light shade here on these little edges. Let's see if I can zoom up a bit closer. Like so. And then here at the top. You want to go in with 925. You want to go over that purple color and fade it out. And 
and then you want to go in with one 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 double two and burnish this will make a pop this area you're going to burnish with the 994 like so now there still needs to be more reds and orange in this area so we go in with one two two create a soft gradient from the center out like so same here want to go in with 913 start at the bottom fade your way all the way to the top and now you go in with 118 you want to burnish here in the orange you're going to go in with 1003 you're going to burnish this area from the red to the orange. You're going to color the circles with that same color. Then you want to go in with 920. Burnish that green. And then what you want to do is with the 122, we're just going to burnish these lines. With 994, we're going to do a similar motion. In with the 118. 1008. Start from the edges and work your way into that center point and fade it out and then we are going to do some outer blending for these little bits on the outside with that 1003 we're just going to Blend this center and then soften at the point. Then you want to go in with the 1011 and you burnish at the highlight point and work your way out. You're going to go in with the 1026, You're going to burnish this little outer bits. In the arch. In with the 928. Go over uh, these pink areas and burnish that down. In with your 1003 for the orange. Then you want to go in with the dark purple, which is the 1078.
blend it out like so. You want to go in with a red, which is one, two, two. Go over that purple. Small circle of motions. Leave that centre bit. And go in with the 994 at the centre. And work your way out. Let's do these areas here. So again, I think we should go in with a red. So the 1078, so we're going to repeat this area. Build up your layers on the outer edge. And then as you work towards the left, lift up your pressure, small circle motions. Going in with the 122. Two. So you want to go back into that purple. Same thing as you work towards the center. Feather it out. There should be like a little lightest point here towards the left. Then you go in with your 994. You burnish that and you work your way out to the right. With that 1078, we're just going to color these edges, fade it up to the center point or the arc point, and then you want to go in with the 1008 and burnish that whole thing. We're going to do something green. 913. Call at the edges and fade it out to the arc. The arch. You want to go in with the 905. You burnish the little uh, every second one. And then you go in with the 992. You burnish that and lift the 920, let's burnish the arc point like so. So now looking at how the colors are arranged, there needs to be more yellow on this right side. So to do that, we're gonna go in with 118. Color the top of the ball. Lift up your pressure as you meet the arc point and then do the same for the right side, lifting your pressure as you meet the arc point as well. You want to go in with your 1003, you burnish the rest, like so. Now with that same colour, you're going to fade it up every second colour. Same here. Then you go in with the 1011. There needs to be some blue. So we're going to go in with 133. Three. Back it up. Finish with 1102, like so. Now, with 902, we're just going to color these fishes here. So, we're just going to start a harder pressure on the outside of the fish and as we work towards the center just lift it out 
Just lift up your pressure. Small circular motions, keeping everything really smooth. Like so. You want to go in with 905. Again, this color, these a bit harder, and then as you work out towards the fin, you lift up your pressure. We do that with the head and then the tail as well. We're going to go in with the 992. I'm going to burnish the remainder of that. Just the head and the fins and tail. And then you want to go in with your light blue, which is 1102. And you're going to burnish this center body bit too. Now as we reach the center, we're just going to lift it up a bit and stop like that, in with the white. There we go. Now this fish will be mm, a mixture of colors. So you want to go in with the process red, which is 994. Just lightly shaded. Go in with the 1003. Right. Back in with your 994, run it at the top, fade it out. Softly shade this and then feather it out as well, but make sure it's very light, same as the fins and the head. Go back in with that yellow, which is the 1003. We're going to burnish from the head outwards, like so. And the tail. So it's almost like a like a sun like a sunrise fish. In with the white, which is the 938. We're going to burnish from the center and work our way out. And then burnish the fins like so. Similar process. Let's go in with the 1008. We're just going to just shade random colors. In with the 905. The 994, we'll keep that here. 992, we'll keep it at the back. And a darker color, which is the 133, we'll run it at the top. Now we're going to run some of those colors through the tail. So just randomly stroke these colors through. I'm going in 994 now, just running colors through, 992 through the tails and fin, some in the face, like that, more of that pink will go here. In with the white. So this is where we do, um, we're going to burnish and do small circle motions. Now when we get to the fin, you just do jagged motions. You're going to go in with 925, 
lunge at the top, work your way towards the left and lift up your pressure as you work towards the tail, like so. Same here. We're going to run these colours roughly in the tail. In with the 1003, running that over that red, feathering it out. Running that colour also in the tail. Bringing in the 101011, burnish the tail, run it back and forth. And in the fins and the body. Because this is a milkier color yellow, it will lift this as well. Now I want you to go in with the purple, which is 1078. The head faded out. So at the center bit, I've lifted up my pressure. And at the front of the head, I lifted up that pressure as well. I'm going to go in with the 1026 and we're just going to burnish that and the head. Like so. We're going to go in with 1040. Small circular motions. And as you work your way towards the center, lift up that pressure. Like so. I'm going to go in with a 905. Every second one, we're going to color and fade it to the outer edge. We're going to so use this color here. Circular, when you work towards the middle, lift up your pressure, like so. I'm going to do it here as well. In with the 920, we're going to do a hard pressure, and as we work towards the outer edge, we're going to lift it up. Drawings like this are very big and complex because it goes over a spread and so I think when you follow along it makes things a lot less overwhelming um, because there's always such a worry of colour balances. Um, what you want to do now is go in with the white, you burnish it from the outer edge to the inn. And you're going to do that here as well. This outer bit is going to go, we're going to use 902. So like before, harder pressure on the left and right. And as you work towards the pinnacle of this arch, you're going to lift up the pressure like so and then we are going to burnish these bits here well 
they're not fully burnished but do like small circular motions so you fill in those little shapes like that you want to go in with your white go at the top and then you work your way to the lefts and rights like so here you just want to do a small circular movement and then at the center here and work your way out now there needs to be some green of some sort so we're going to go in with the 913 Fade it out to the center. Same with this color, we're going to work our way on the outer edge and at the arch point, we lift up our pressure, work our way from the other end as well and work our way towards the arch and lift up that pressure again. You want to go in with the 989, work your way at the center and work your way out at the arc and work your way outwards as well. We're going to throw in some purple now. So, in with the 1078. Lift it up as you reach the arc point. Same on the other end. Go in with the 994. It's going to really pop against that green. What you want to do is go in with a 1003, color in these circles yellow, and these shapes. With the red, 122, two, you're going to outline the circle, fade it off into the center. You're going to work here and fade it off as you hit the center as well. With your 925, you're going to fill in that center bit. Work your way from the inside out. You want to go in with the 994 and burnish it like so. And with your bright green, you want to burnish that center. There needs to be something quite purple here. So, 1008. Let's start off here. And as we reach this arc, like this center highlight point, which is this type of this area, I'm going to soften it. Like so. Okay, and every second one we're going to do the same thing. You just have to imagine there's an imaginary line of where the highlight point is. Like so. Okay, you feather it out. So let's just continue. Okay. In with your process red, which is the 994, I want to color this little circle and fade it out like that. And at the top, I want to do the same with the same color. In with the 1026, we're going to burnish at the highlight point and work our way out to the darker color. Now what you're going to go in with is that purple, which is the 1078. Doing the same thing. You want to go in a bit darker at the darkest points of this figure. 
And as you reach the highlight point, feather it out, soften your pressure, do it in reverse from the top, like so. My goal is to make this piece quite colourful, very vibrant and full of colour. Um, I don't want anything neutral or muted, so I'm going to make it vibrant as we can get it. In with a 1, 2, 2. Actually, in with a 9, 2, 5. We're going to use three colours in these areas now. Going over that purple fading it off to the center and then you go in with the one two two and you burnish the whole thing Three colours always make things a bit more dynamic um, and it really depends on the area of space how many colours I use. In with the 928, I'm going to burnish here. You want to go in with an orange, which is 112. We're just going to burnish the circles, nothing fancy. And in with the 1003 at that center. And at this center as well. In with the 118, we're going to start a bit harder at the center of this and soften it as we reach our way out and then go back in with that 1003 and burnish that. We're going to do something green here and we're going to do something darker. So in with the 109. In with the 920, we're going to burnish it. This is a different type of green that we, this shade of green we haven't used much, so I want to put something different. In with the 908. Guys, thank you for watching part 4 of this 5 part series and hope you guys come back next week for part 5 release, the final release. Guys, this will be also available in a playlist on my YouTube channel so that it's easy to navigate and it's easily accessible for you guys who always come back to your tutorials. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please remember to comment and like and subscribe if you already haven't and just remember I have social medias like Instagram, Patreon, Facebook, TikTok. So check them out, guys. Also, I have freebie coloring pages available to everyone on my website. So guys, check it out. Until then, be you, be true, and shine bright. Bye.